Hey guys, Jared here with 5-Pack Magic. Welcome to the studio. We are right in the middle of brilliant star season and I have thoughts in my head and you have thoughts too because we've talked about it online. And what it is, is back in the day, booster boxes and ETBs seemed to have like the absolute best hits, especially booster boxes. You had some guarantees inside of them but they kind of stopped doing that. You're getting booster boxes with duds or booster boxes that were just like fully stacked. Three packs seem to be where it's at right now. And we're gonna put that to the test in the next couple videos over the next couple weeks. Um, I've been talking to a lot of people that have been pulling rainbow Charizards and every single time I ask them, what did they pull it out of? And they say a three pack. You know we pulled the full art Charizard out of a three pack. Uh, we pulled Rainbow Shaman out of a three pack. We pulled our Gold Bird out of a three pack. We pulled a lot of great stuff out of three packs. Yes, we did get the awesome Charizard alternate artwork out of the Pokemon Center ETB. But regardless, I wanna see what kind of luck we get with three packs. Of course, we have one of each, Glaceon and Leafeon. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. My, I'm gonna put my vote in and I'm going for Leafeon. Just a huge fan of that, so we're gonna save my favorite for last, but uh, let's go ahead and grab this, open it up. Three packs inside each one. I got these from Walmart. They sell for $13.99. They used to be $12.99, but the prices are going up. Nothing we can do about it. Might be a little bit cheaper on GameStop, actually, because I was kind of looking at that last night. And here, let me, let me get you with this promo card that we've seen before. Code card just so you can throw that on the online TCG. And, and let's go ahead and do that with Leafeon too. Let's, let's get those two code cards out of the way for you. Get this going. But yeah, like I said, I think I saw on GameStop last night that they're still selling for $12.99. They got some pre-sales for Astral Radiance. And yes, if you want to see Astral Radiance as fast as possible, subscribe to our channel because we got those on pre-order coming in fast, hopefully sooner than later. There's Leafeon, my personal favorite. Code cards are right there, but let's let's put these two guys on display and hopefully they get upgraded in today's video. Uh, we got missions on the table, two missions. If you've been watching my booster box opening, uh, the two missions on the table are all the Charizards of Brilliant Stars. We need the regular Charizard B and we need the Rainbow Charizard and all the gold birds of Brilliant Stars. We need Zapdos. We have the other ones in stock. So let's check these out. We get two Charizard packs and a Shaman in this one. Let's crack them open. Let's have fun, guys. And, and you know I have to say it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Like the video. It tells YouTube I got really cool stuff. And comment if you want to be involved in the conversations because I reply back to everything. So first pack of Brilliant Stars. Let's have some fun. And let's see what happens to our ever-growing collection here. Um, I'm going to be putting a video up showing my collection, my master set of Brilliant Stars. That will be done as a short. So if you want to check that out, that will be available to watch on my channel. Sorry, I'm sitting there looking like, man, I better be recording. Nothing worse than being a YouTuber and being nervous if you're recording or not. All right, so first code card was a white border and it did not give us anything. No character rares in that one. Two more packs out of this first one. First Charizard pack. Let's see how it goes. Oh, there we go. Black border card. So that usually means that there is going to be a holographic in there. I'm sorry, I don't remember if I code card you there. One more time just in case I didn't. But yeah, black card, card usually means there's going to be a holographic inside there. Fighting Energy, Sigalith. Hopefully we get some character rares going on too. Um, we did pull a monster in the booster box opening, the, a VMAX that I was hoping for. I'll save it for a surprise if you haven't watched that video yet, but that was worth it. Rare of this pack is an Entei V, so I don't have that one yet in the master set. So awesome addition, one big monster hit there for us. Let's see if we can do just a little bit better white code card in this one so we gotta be hoping for a character rare right here but brilliant stars has definitely been a, a fun set i know i say it over and over but it's tight up there with evolving skies for me right now with my modern sets 
huge fan of it. Tons of great cards, tons of great opportunities to pull, especially with all the character rares or trainer rares, I think is what they're really called. And the rare of this pack, uh, live part. So nothing too major there. Uh, not in the first one. So let's see if the second one, let's see if Leafeon, my Leafeon three pack is going to do better. Two Arceus and a, totally forgot the name. So let's open that one up first. Go ahead and let me know that name down in the comments so I can learn these Pokemon better. All these new age Pokemon. All right, this guy here, we get a black border card to start off. You know, it's weird. I, I have this weird um, thing I'm noticing when I'm opening up packs, and I don't know if you're noticing it too, but the packs that open up easier, like there's less glue holding them together, seem to have white border cards, and the packs that are a little bit harder to open up have black border cards in it. Don't know if it's just me, but that's what I feel like I've been noticing. Rare of this pack is a Mimikyu V. We have pulled Mimikyu V multiple times now, so uh, good looking card, but nothing to get too crazy about, unfortunately. Another black border card. So we got two more packs to go to see. Do three packs hit better? Uh, the first three pack was, was decent. We got a V out of it. We got that Entei V, so I would not say anything too major on that three pack. We pulled the Mimikyu V on our second one with a black border card as our second pack. So let's see what we get out of this one. Still no trainer rares and still no trainer rares. And the rare of this pack is a holographic Torterra. So I have seen that card many, many times in our openings. Last pack to see, do these three packs hit different? Because I'm not feeling it so far in this video. The chances of getting a third. Now this one's glued pretty good. Let's see if I'm right. It is a black border. I'm telling you, the packs that are glued a little bit harder seem to have black border cards inside of them. Um, but wow, what a three pack. So we get three black border cards inside this. We have gotten no trainer rares, two of these. So last pack, do three packs hit better than anything else. Oh, pulled out two cards, still no trainer rares, but the last rare of the video. Let's see how it goes for us. And a holographic boss's order. So no, not in this video, but I got a couple more three pack videos I'm gonna be doing later on in the week. I have good faith in it. So I will see you guys in those videos and thank you so much for enjoying.